Hello, this is Tim from Abstract, and today I'm going to show you how to use sketch libraries with Abstract. This is our demo project called Steps. It's a little iOS app we put together to show you how to use libraries. As you can see, we have four files here, two regular files and two library files. Let's open screens.sketch and make some edits. We've got three artboards in here, our main screen, settings, and the about screen. As you can see in the left sidebar, all the screens use a set of library symbols. These symbols all live in a library file called components.sketch. Opening the components file, you'll notice we have pretty much all of the elements we need to design our screens in here. We got our navigation, step list, icons, cells, buttons, and more. Let's focus on cells for a minute. I think our section titles could stand out some more, so let me change the color to pink, one of our brand colors. I hit save and go to our screens file. The banner top right tells me there are symbols that need to be updated. I'm going to accept these changes by clicking update symbols. As you can see, all of the titles in this file have been updated to the new styling. We're also using the same set of components in our onboarding flow sketch file. Opening it shows the same button top right in sketch. I'll go through the update flow here too. All the symbols from the library files on my branch are available here. You can go straight to a specific library symbol by double clicking it and selecting open in original document. I'm not feeling this pink for our headers. Let's try green. Let's hit save and go back to our onboarding file to update our symbol. I think the green looks really good here. Let's do the same in our screens file. There we go. I think we're ready to commit. Adding a commit title here. Made the headers green. Done. That's how you work with sketch libraries inside Abstract. If you have any more questions, feel free to visit our help center or email support. Thank you.